You know, there are reports of very poor conditions and, and even abuse of the January 6 detainees. One report even said some of the prisoners are being carried out on stretchers. Now, I remember left-wingers in this country, Congresswoman, going nuts. They were upset at the treatment over Gitmo detainees, but they're silent on how Americans are being treated here. Now, you visited these folks earlier this month. Tell us what you saw. Uh, that's right, Chris. Just um, just a little over a week ago, my staff and I and Congressman Louis Gohmert and a couple of members from his staff went for a tour of the jail in D.C. And what I saw was shocking to me. There were parts of the jail that looked pretty normal with education uh, classes going on, uh, even one area where there was young men being treated really well and different from the rest of the jail. We saw lockdown facilities where, where people were being held and locked down, uh, you know, for solitary confinement for behavior problems. But then last but not least, we went into where the J6 uh, defendants are. And these men are truly being uh, treated completely differently than the rest of the jail. Their rights are being violated. It's unconstitutional. They are pre-trial. They're innocent until proven guilty. They, they should have, they have the right to a speedy trial. They're not getting it. They're being denied medical treatment. They have been beaten by guards. They're called white supremacists. They're not allowed to get haircuts or shave unless they're vaccinated. Denied religious, um, religion, uh, chapel, and even communion. And we saw several men in there that desperately need to get out and go to a hospital. They've got serious medical problems. But now, after what happened just a few days ago uh, with the situation in the jail where they were sprayed with pepper spray or there's been reports of tear gas, and several of the January 6th defendants were taken out on stretchers, uh, one man is reporting that he's having serious illness and very bad side effects uh, even today. I've tried to call his attorney. Uh, I've left a message. I've called the the mayor of Washington, D.C., Mayor Bowser's chief of staff about this. I've called the jail and have not gotten any return calls. And so it looks like a visit back to the D.C. jail is in order for myself and any member of Congress that will go with me. I will invite them all. Um, but if they're going to continue to abuse these people, I'll keep showing up, Chris, because it's out of line and America needs to scream out and make it stop. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.